Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see in the video behind me, today we are matching solidarity to the Ukraine people. Um, it's been over a year since the war in Ukraine, so we're coming out in solidarity for Ukraine for the war to stop and for you know the people to be able to live their life and go back to their homes or probably just live a normal life. So I have here with me the president. Slava Ukraine. Slava Ukraine, uh, aka yeah. Mr. Ago. Mm -hmm. I'll be leaving his link to his Instagram so you can follow him up. And uh, let's get this video rolling. Let's enjoy the video. Let's see what today is going to be about. So I heard that the president of Ukraine is going to be here. I don't know how true that is yet. So we're outside here to see um, the president of Ukraine to hear what he has to say to the people. And you can see on my shirt, um, there's the Dynamo Kiev jersey. I have the Dynamo Kiev jersey on, and there's the Ukraine flag. So, and for someone who has lived in Ukraine for over a decade, I must tell you that I really do miss Ukraine, honestly. So, I'm here out with them. It's a guy to Slava Ukraine. President. I can tell you in all honesty, as someone who has lived in Ukraine for over a decade, I must say it's it's really, 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 really sad because Ukraine has been my second home. I'm originally from Nigeria. So most of my life, for more than a decade, I've been in Ukraine. So I speak the language, I've integrated into the system, and uh, Ukraine has accepted me as a foreigner. And I'm part of the community right now. So I must say, if I had a tear to share with my eyes, I would have uh, brought a mess and it's wrong. And I would have been able to share with my eyes. So over there. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay.
So we have the police officers from Germany. They are with us and the Student president from Ukraine, from Kiev, actually. So introduce yourself. My name is Agu. You call me Agu White. Okay. What else? <laughs> Agu White. Um, um, we are here in the Akin city. Uh, we are here to support Ukraine. All right. And um, because today their president is getting an award from Germany. So, oh, so today the award. Is, yeah, what kind yeah. of award is that? I think a hero, hero award. Okay. Because he has been, he has been, um, he has been a strong pillar to their country to hold on Russia invasion and everything. So today Germany is recognizing recognizing him for his perfect work he has done. So that's why we're here to support him. All right, that's good. well. Anyways, we are from Ukraine together, though. Yeah. He's also an hype man, the best hype man you can get. So for weddings, he got you all. So tell us what, what has been your experience moving from ah, Ukraine to it Germany? It was um, it was really it, it was a terrible experience, but um, we thank God for everything because um, we have to leave our home unannounced. We have to have to run for our life to secure place. I will thank God for Germany, Akin. They accepted us. They okay. treated us well. They gave us um, shelter. They gave us food. They gave us almost everything. All right, that's good. Though. Well, anyways, a lot of people have been saying that. Um, I would like to put it like Germany has been stressful for a lot of people. What do you think about that? Yeah, I can't say Germany is stressful. You know, um, the, for the fact that uh, you left your former life, you're starting from the beginning, you're starting all afresh. So it's it's always it's going to be a selfish journey because. Um, you're starting, you are starting afresh. Like uh, you are trying to meet up again with life after everything you've done before and everything. So of course it's going to be stressful, but I believe with time everything is going to. Everything's going to fall in place. Well, that's true, though. Well, for me, my own experience has been crazy, anyways, though. So as you can see around, let's turn around. Let's show them. As you can see behind us, there's there's a lady on stage addressing the Ukrainian people, and honestly speaking, it's been great, though. So what we try to do for ourselves is we Africa, we all, all come together since we came from Ukraine, you know, stand together, stand strong and do one or two things together. So what's up? So what's from here going forward now? How, how would life be like? Yeah, um, really, um, nobody can say what tomorrow is. And all we just though. need to do is to keep on living. If you just a sleeping bomb, just enter. I'm telling you, so. <laughs> 
we just keep on living and thanking God for everything. That's, I swear. That's the way because you know. a lot of us has plans and um, this world shattered our plans. So you see, yeah, a lot of that's people, why yeah, sometimes a lot people, people don't make plans. Plan. But now we are plan. here, we are going to make sure um, we are going to live as the day goes. Yes, we'll definitely live as yeah. the day goes. That, that's, yeah. well, that's, and that's what we need to do. So anyways, though, this is Agu White. Your hero, your president, our president, your own president too. Yeah. So stay tuned. I'll keep filming up what's Make going sure on. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. subscribe click, don't forget. Subscribe and follow him on Instagram. <laughs> All right. So thank, thank you, you guys. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye, nigga. <laughs> So which city is the day for you playing? Yeah, I've been in Kiev. Yeah, you live in Kiev. I was staying in Harikov. Yeah, you've been in Akov too. Yeah. I was living in Akov too. Yeah. This is three side work on. I was in a um, student's car in Harikov. Really? I've been there, I've been there like Sevka. Yeah, I see. I now moved down to um, Kivskaya. Kivskaya. Yeah. Yeah, Kivskaya now. Okay, Kivskaya now. Wait, wait. Not where Kivskaya is. Kivskaya now, now where? Is, um, by the um, big mall. Is that big mall? What's yeah. that mall name? Yeah. Um, wait, where that big junction there? Yeah. Now, Kiska with that big junction there, should we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, so what's your name, though? Yeah, okay. I'm yourself. Comrade Nadi Everestes. All right, this, we have a yeah. comrade here. Yeah. yeah. So tell us your experience moving from Ukraine to Germany. Uh, right? Actually, it was not an easy one, but we thank God for a successful, um, you know, escape. Yeah. Because it came, you know, on, unexpected, and we never knew that. Um, Putin, we you know took it this far. Yeah, and, the, uh, the nigga, the nigga really, took it. Really, 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 the nigga um, took it really, really far, man. Really, honestly, really, uh, you know, unexplainable. But uh, in all, we just have to thank God for the gift of life. Uh, but right. we are not happy for you know the act that uh, people are just you know just um dying like like you know. Yeah, the law of death, though. The law of death, though. Honestly, yeah, honestly Putin speaking, he doesn't have any sympathy. Honestly, oh, he doesn't have any sympathy. That's you know? deep. That's because deep. Because Ukrainians have been so peaceful and so welcoming to you know several people. So everybody and, actually uh, though. They welcomed us, the foreigners, and we were able to migrate and you know stay and live there. Most of us got married there. Most of us, you know, they go married in Ukraine. Um, yeah, most of us, you know, That's are good. studying. And some are working. So how, how long you lived in Ukraine? Though? Yeah, I stayed in Ukraine over three, four years. Yeah, say, four, years. four years. Four years. Four years is a long and, time. Yeah, one of a sudden one morning I was in school that morning and what I had was a bomb shot all over, an alarm all over. That's so crazy. I could not, you know, stand. I have to pick up my um just my pen and my clothes. That is what I, was, I, I left I left I left to just my passport. I left to just my passport. I had in Ukraine was shattered and I could not live with anything just with my clothes. But I think um this nation Germany has been so Germany has been good, yeah. I thank them and I commend them for their uh, hospitality and their so, so I do I do say I do say thank you to to Germans in George. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So nice. Everyone so great. Game. So provide for us, they are my friends, clothes, shelter, all yeah. the people need. Yeah, they did great in that one. They provide everything. They provide everything. And they also provide means of income for most of us that really want to continue. And means of job for most people that really want to partake in doing work. So we really appreciate them for everything. So we can say the background, they are having their moments, their own songs in the background. Yeah, this is the spirit of solidarity. Yeah. We are here in, you know, in one accord to support, you know, what is going on here. And uh, we are so, part of the family of Ukraine and we will stand by them to the end of it all. President, what did they do yeah. for back? <laughs>
Thank you so much. I really appreciate you for this. All right. Time. So let's go. It's good to start yeah. together in solidarity with Ukraine. Yeah. So you can I see you? Yeah? Yeah, you pray for yeah, life. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you can have you here yeah, too on the field. So that's not good. Well, anyways, thanks for coming, comrade. Yeah, All right, nice to have you. Huh? Yeah. All right. So, guys. Uh... die auch da ist, Menschenrechtlerin, ähm, die hat äh, mir gestern gesagt, wir sehen uns oder ich sehe mich ähm, als Verbündete von Tichanowskaja und anderen, weil wir kämpfen alle für die Freiheit, wir setzen uns für die Freiheit in unseren jeweiligen Staaten ein, auch wenn die Bedingungen jeweils unterschiedlich sind. Wir gucken mal kurz in die Verleihung vom letzten Jahr rein. Hunderte Bürgerinnen und Bürger formen ein Friedenssymbol auf dem Katschhof zwischen Dom und Rathaus. Dazu singen sie We Shall Overcome für die und mit den Karlspreisträgerinnen. In deren Heimat Belarus ist Frieden nur eine Sehnsucht. 1200 Menschen sitzen wegen ihrer Überzeugung im Gefängnis. Diktator Lukaschenko unterstützt Russland gegen die Ukraine. Die Solidarität in Aachen umso wichtiger für die Oppositionsführerinnen. Das gibt uns viel für unseren Kampf in der Zukunft. Es gibt uns das Gefühl, nicht allein zu stehen. Es ist schwer, ein Regime zu bekämpfen, das seit 28 Jahren besteht. Warum Veronika Zepkalo mit so viel Ausdauer an eine Zukunft in Frieden glaubt, verrät sie in ihrer Rede. Ihre Mutter wurde 1944 in einem deutschen Arbeitslager geboren, als Tochter eines Deutschen. Sie hat ihren Vorfahren nie kennengelernt. If I got to see my grandfather, Könnte ich meinen Großvater sehen, er würde mir sagen, dass er so stolz wäre auf das heutige Deutschland. Was sie erschaffen haben, ist großartig. Sie haben Demokratie und Meinungsfreiheit. Auch Svetlana Tichanowskaya, die ohne Wahlbetrug wohl Präsidentin von Belarus wäre, kämpft mit einem hohen persönlichen Einsatz. Dennoch wollte sie den Karlspreis nicht für sich entgegennehmen. It belongs to Belarusian women, er gehört belarussischen Frauen, Journalisten, furchtlosen Freiwilligen. Er gehört auch jedem Kind, das wartet, dass Mutter oder Vater aus dem Gefängnis kommen. Wie nah das Schicksal der Kinder der Karlspreisträgerin ist, daran erinnerte Bundesaußenministerin Annalena Baerbock in ihrer Laudatio. Alle Teile der Gesellschaft bekennen sich gemeinsam zur Freiheit und Frieden. Dies sei das Signal des Aachener Karlspreises 2022 zu Bürgermeister. Wenn das jetzt noch Jahre so weitergeht, was bedeutet das für unsere Töchter? Aber Ihre Hoffnung ist eben, dass das nicht Jahre in dieser Form weitergeht, sondern dass alle demokratischen Staaten, einschließlich Deutschland, die Ukraine so unterstützen, dass sie sich weiter verteidigen kann, dass sie sich besser verteidigen kann. Wir sehen das in Those are snipers right there. Well, finally, we can see the president of Korea on the screen. I don't think we're going to see it in person, anyways, but I guess this is the best we are going to get. Um, I'm going to show you guys something that really got to notice right above the screen there. You can see the snipers. There are two snipers stationed up over there in the church. And we've got one here that's a gun. There's a sniper gun right there. It's crazy, though. Know? So that's. The president of Ukraine gets this all for we're gonna come because this is the best we're gonna get. Anyway, so we wait for him to receive his award. And uh, you know, it's been a crazy day all day today, but I'm privileged and honored to be able to film this. It's really a really an honor to be able to witness this, to see the fight for the Ukrainians. And, uh, you know, for the support of what you're getting from the people of the world and 
Um, the German government will not sit there. This is really this is inspiring, and um, I hope they get the, the win that they deserve. Вика, а мы стоим и тоже хорошо видим, вот где вот эти три конуса белых, видишь, вот, дальше по нам, и видишь, раз конус, два и три, а за нами камень, то есть против... с, прав... с левой стороны от тебя. Ты, ты не увидишь меня, ты должна пройти сюда глубже, на, вис... на вы... вывеска магазину, видишь, обернись назад. За мальчика, не на сцену, а на, на другую сторону посмотри. И на доме вот сразу за тобой магазина написано. Вывеска. Да нет, вот за спиной у тебя магазина написано. Если ты возле мальчика смотрит канал. Но мы его видим, мы стоим просто с левой стороны. Вот тут вот, вот, палатка. Вот палатка. Вот, Вика, Вика. Ну мы тут пока постоим. Нет, тут вообще свободно, никого не трогать. Thank you.